I'm a, a animator and a director by trade. Like that's what I do for a living. But I'm, I was an artist before that. But so I find as I, I work in in film more and more, like my work more and more about building worlds. So and worlds within worlds. So the piece is really ab about that. But there's also um, about the the you know the shifting balance between public and private that social media brings. The show is about social media, so um, in particular, like uh, if you notice the piece, you, you can't look directly into the house. You have to peer in. Like you're you're looking in on something that's private, but then when you look in, it's actually a public world. It's a city. But then all the billboards are a conversation between two people, but it's a conversation over social media. So again, it's back and forth between public, private, public, private. So it's kind of commentary on that. And also a little bit, I think there's elements of just the paranoia that comes from modern times of living in a surveillance state. This, and the scene part's more about that, where you have the board is carved with a, an organic conversation, but it's once again, it's via text message. Um, and then the scene, you know, like that's what comes up when you get a message from someone. But then, you know, with the revelations from from Snowden, we we know that it's not just being seen by us; it's being recorded by our government and and stored for however long or forever, probably. So, so there's that. The, if you'll notice, the, the the shininess of the technology on the scene is all breaking away, and it's just the rusty machine, old machine that's always been there. This, this uh, oppressive surveillance state that the apparatus has been around for a long time. They just put a sheen on it, and we, and we all bought into it because it was shiny and new.